Welcome back, agents. Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Chimera Squad. This will be part 11 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we just started dealing with the, like, cult people. I don't remember what their name was. Hang on. Let's, let's double check. It was Sacred Coil. That's right. Uh, we are now up to this mission where we can stop the pirate radio station. However, if we don't take this mission... It will increase unrest by two. Although we can just reduce district unrest like so. Again, there's no real point in us not doing this. Okay, so Zephyr's unlocking potential. That's good. Okay, you're doing humanitarian aid because we do need more money. Oh no, that's reducing unrest. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, always handy. Verge is doing research into better submachine guns. Okay. I, I think we just go for it. Uh, we did get a special epic shotgun for Godmother, which grants run and gun. Pretty strong. And we have Axiom in our squad. Who's pretty cool. He's, he's a bit of a bruiser. Not quite as fun as Zephyr, but... You know. we she, She's busy at the moment. And I'm sort of dreaming of the day we can have Axiom and Zephyr in our squad. Because that would be fun. Sacred Coil is running a pirate broadcast in the area. We need to stop them at the source. Okay. Let's get their grubby advent hands off of wholesome resistance tactics. <laughs> right. So what are we faced with here? Uh, first unit through this entrance will be rooted for one round. Nah, we'll just all go through the wall. Uh, we'll actually send Terminal in. Uh, actually, no, we won't. We'll send Cherubim first. Uh, then Axiom, then Godmother, then Terminal. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Sure. How's this for an entrance? Again, we'll just bust through the wall. Knock, knock, gentlemen. XCOM's here. 77? Yeah. Nice. Uh, who we got here? Ah, uh, this is Axiom. Alright, he'll shoot at the purifier. Now, you can definitely pop this guy. Boom! Okay, so we do sort of get plasma weapons. I guess. Like, plasma weapons are obviously those epic slash legendary weapons or whatever. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, game just freaked out a little bit there. There's an android. Well, can I see him from here? I can't, right? Yeah, so why don't I just... Slap like a kinetic shield on Axiom. And then I can just shoot at him. Boop. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. Oh, I didn't expect to kill him. Okay, that's no, not really a problem. No impact. Yeah, so that one I'm not super worried about. Um, if we just go smash this, three to six. Ugh, that's that's a f bit of a bit of a swing. Okay, if we hit you, you're gonna explode. So we don't want that. The android over there is gonna gonna activate. But, I mean, I reckon we just go here and blast this turret. Boom. Easy. We do want to deal with that other android just in case. Like, not this one. The one that's primed the self-destruct. We don't want them. Yeah. Kinetic shield. Good try. Uh, we don't want him just charging at us and getting us with the self-destruct. That would be bad. So, with that in mind, uh, if I... Yeah, okay. So we can get right up on him here. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I am a little bit sick at the moment, so if I sound a bit croaky, um, that's why. But for the most part, I think I'm recovering, so no real issue there. It should only be for like a couple of videos, if you notice it at all. Beep beep you. Barely got through the armor. God, I do like the rifles. I do like the mag rifles in this. Oh, yeah. Right, there's another turret over there. 
So radial overwatch, that means he's overwatched in front of him. It's like I can't move close to him. Also nice, bit of floating grass there, it's always fun. Uh, we're gonna get you psych up, I think. And then we'll just charge forward. Oh, so I can do that all the time. I thought it used up an action point, but I guess not. Yeah, okay, so radial overwatch is just like around him, so I can't get close. But that shouldn't be an issue. Boom! Yeah, I don't need to get close to the turret. I don't want to get close to the turret. <clears throat> Alright. So, Cherub's pretty charged up at the moment. In fact, he might have a max charge. I thought his max was three. You should be coming up on some docks and not a lot of cover. Okay. Stay behind me. I'll draw their fire. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great plan, but sure. Uh, okay, enemies deal plus some damage during the breach. First units for this angel to have their weapon disabled. Okay, so what we can do here is go Axiom first, since if his weapon's disabled, I don't really care. Uh, then we'll follow it up with Godmother, then Cherub, then Terminal. Well, Terminal... Now, maybe we go Cherub, then Godmother. Because that way, if something happens to Axiom, then Cherub can... Um, get that shield up. Alright, your weapon's gonna get disabled, so you need to do some damage here. Take him out. I do love the pistols too, just that. Uh, we won't alpha strike it just yet, I don't think. I think we're, we're pretty happy to just see how this turns out. Because it's probably gonna be a three encounter mission. So I might save it for that last encounter, because they usually get like, quite a lot harder. Yeah, they go from relatively easy to quite a lot harder in that last one. Uh, so you can't actually get anywhere here, can you? So I think you might just charge you somewhere. Charge you there, maybe? Because what do we got? We got a couple of purifiers, a couple of commandos. Haven't seen one of these actually do anything yet, so... Oh, that's not fun. Okay. Right. Well, in that case, that's generally bad. So you have two charge, and you can max out three? Yeah. Bip. Just uh, over the edge. Okay, so we definitely want to deal with these guys before they can all just call in more people, then. Good to know. So that was a commando that did that. I thought it was a purifier. Where's the... Oh, the other purifiers back there. Yeah, so the purifiers have flamethrowers. They're just like the purifiers from Mass uh, Mass Effect, from XCOM 2. Sorry, I just watched an enormous Game Maker's Toolkit video on uh, Mass Effect. Very good video. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Headed worm needed. Uh, you should be able to get a shot off on him, right? Maybe? 61? Well, you do put hollow targeting on him, so that's actually pretty good. And we're all out of range, oh, wow. so that's perfect. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need ammo, Axiom. I wonder what his rage caps out at. Oh, doesn't matter. Nighty night. Bonk. Hostile isn't moving. Ooh, hello. That was unexpected. So wait, can they all do that? Or is it just like the first one that activated? Because if they can all do that, that's sort of annoying. Wow, so that guy goes first. Well, that's awkward. Unless I can just shock grenade him, I guess. So we will do that. <laughs> Sorry. This might even kill him, right? Man, it only shuts him down for a turn. Hmm. Let's take a shot at someone. Or, I guess I could just kinetic shield. Oh, I can't do myself. Ah, oh, but I could go over here. Hang on. Found a better position. I got this. And we just kinetic shot. shield. Axiom. Boom. Now he's protected. Uh, what do I want to do about this? 
It's not androids, and the purifier just here. So if I go up here, I should get the big the big flank. So this shouldn't be an issue. Four to six with a 33% crit? Yeah. Six, nice, because now we can uh, KO him for the KO him for the capture. Blocked. Nice try. Cherub is really good to bring. We don't bring him enough. It's just often because, like, one block is not enough. Uh, no, we're not going to do cooperation. I want to do subdue. Although... Or do I want to do cooperation? Actually, if I cooperate on you... Then you can bonk the big man. Bonk. And then you can still go in for the capture. Schmack. Stay down. Schmock. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. He's so far away, I'm not super concerned. See what the commando does. Wow, he took the shot while he is flanked. That's something they didn't do in uh, XCOM 2. Pretty much if you flanked them, they almost always tried to get out of the flank first. Ready for action. All right, open that. Contraband, good stuff. Well, good stuff for Make us, way. not for them. And then Cherub. We'll just get you over here to take some shots. Wow, that extra mobility is strong. Uh, yeah, we'll now do Godmother. I don't know how we deal, we're going to deal with both of these guys. Yeah, so interesting. He went for the flank. Well, sorry, not a flank. He just went for the... Went for the shot when he can easily be flanked. And he is currently flanked by Terminal. One less That's so strange. How did you manage that? that is so very strange. Uh, actually, we're just going to heal Godmother. I needed that. Although odds are... I can do 80%. 80, 80%. I was about to say odds are the Android's far. probably just going to target Terminal rather than Godmother, especially now that they've got the defense boost. And yeah. Blood on my jacket. Ugh, that's annoying. Again? I was hoping to get out of this with only like one of my people getting injured, but... Bummer. Oh, well, that's just a... That's a me thing, not a game thing. It makes no difference. As long as no one goes down. Boom. And then, Godmother. I no take you can probably handle this. On the move. Oh, that unless, of course, you're out of ammo. Oh, no, you said low ammo, not no ammo. Gotcha. Boom. And ba-boom. Easy. So now we just punch all of their breach abilities on this one. The signal is strongest up ahead. And they're still broadcasting. If you're fast, you can stop them. Yeah, easy. So what do we got here? Ooh, okay. Event. Uh, so we can send... Probably send Godmother in the event? Um, we can send them in first. And then I guess we push everyone through this breach. So then we're going to go... Cherub, Axiom... Terminal. Cease firebomb, yeah. And that's it. Let's go. Breach, breach, breach. Where's the Breaching vent it. here, just quietly? Throw a grenade. Mwam. Peekaboo. Uh, yeah, we're gonna alpha strike this guy. Boom! Durot. Okay, so that android doesn't have any ammo. Sure, we'll just do this. Again, though, they shouldn't have any ammo, so... Don't think this will be a problem. Yeah, they don't have ammo, because we breach... We cease firebombed it. 
Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Don't let him get away. Wow, that guy's the DJ. Where's he trying to go though? Like where is the escape? Okay, I don't actually know. Uh we could just ventilate him, right? No, we can't see him. Bummer. Uh Okay, we're gonna team up with Axiom. Uh, we'll team up with Axiom. Bring our two heavy hitters up in the up in the initiative. And then I guess we could just so when does that android get to go? Seven. So he's quite a ways down the list. And really... Okay, I think I'm going to run and gun. Moving and shooting. We're going to run to here. And that way we won't need to ventilate. Right? Because this should be 100%. Yeah, actually ventilate does extra damage, right? Doesn't it? Six to ten versus four to six. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we we will still ventilate. So boom, boom, boom. Now we didn't actually do amazing there. We didn't do amazing there at all. Hmm, Guardian's a bit of a problem. How far can we go? Okay, so just that far. Alright, we'll take out this android then. He's definitely gonna die. Boom. Ooh. Never mind. I guess I'd do five damage. That is a lot. Yeah, see, like, where are you going, though? Please, <clears throat> keep wasting your effort. Yeah, you're gonna... Excuse me? Oh, we shot him, so he was stunned. Gotcha. Uh, if I charge bash this guy over here, he should go down, right? Does six damage. Yeah, we'll just make sure he's down. 99. Okay, then we just have to deal with the rest. Wow, he, he got the hell out of there. Wow, they're super shooting here. Hello? No? How do you do cooperation? Maybe? What are your options? Oh, you can shoot the Guardian. Okay. So, we'll cooperate with Axiom. Give him an action. Uh, he can just bonk the android. I imagine we won't capture him, but... Still. And then you can just fire at the Guardian. Wow, only a graze. Yeah. I'm running low. Is that all they can do? Can they only do radial overwatch? Because that seems dumb. Oh, the android probably won't be affected by this, will it? So I should probably just blast him. Boom! I love plasma weapons. So I reckon we just go at him. Jump on this window, smash the Guardian, and then I can uh, what's him what's him up with Cherub if I have to. Hostile off the board. By the numbers. Yep, and then we can just kinetic shield, uh, Axiom. Protect it from all angles. And protect him from that that android. Who's actually probably just gonna explode, so I guess that would be good or bad. Does the shield protect from explosions? Uh yes. Yes, it does. So that was the worst move that android could have made. Fair enough. That was a choice. On the run. Not a good one, but uh, definitely a choice. Wow, we are crushing these guys. Yeah, so do they just sit on radial overwatch? Because that's just kind of crap. Like, really crap. That's just bad. Uh, honestly, just, uh, do prep. Do some prep. 
Alright, we'll just hook a frag up there, blow away its cover, even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't get cover. But at least everyone can see it now, more to the point. Oh, or Axiom can just finish it off. Bad luck. I don't know, you had a shotgun. Bonk. Easy. We smashed that mission. Damn right it was excellent. Uh, not a lot of captured enemies, though, admittedly. Again, when we don't have Zephyr, we tend to not get as many captures, because she's our capturing machine, just running around, giving everyone the, the, the spin kick to the head. She's pretty good at it. Uh, okay, we got some Illyrium. Oh, we did get the 20 intel. Nice. Excellent work. City 31 nice. sees the true face of Sacred Coil, and they don't like it. Okay. Uh, Reclamation links Sacred Coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons. All human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. Nice. Oh, I can get a new agent. <gasps> yeah. So who do we want? Who do we want? So we could get Claymore, Blue Blood, Patchwork. Hmm. Hmm. Claymore's kind of interesting. I'm leaning towards Blue Blood. And we have Patchwork again. Now, Patchwork, though, we are fighting some robots, so maybe Patchwork would be worth bringing. But... Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Combat Scanners. You know what? I think we're going to take Blue Blood. I think we've looked at him before. Uh, Prince with his father's private detective agency smuggled hundreds of people out of City 31 whom Advent had labeled as dissidents. Yeah, we definitely looked at him before. I think we will take him. I think we'll take Blue Blood. I love the idea of like a pistol man. That sounds... sounds fun. Uh, but nevertheless, we have a promotion for Godmother. Okay, so we can either give a combat specialist, takes a reaction shot at enemies to get too close, eh, or untouchable. If Godmother downs an enemy during their turn, the next attack, the next attack against will miss. Boom. Easy pick. Blue like, blood. the easiest Great pick. See you. <laughs> Back at you, Whisper. Settling in? Not exactly. Until we need more pistol boys. Field office, we get to sleep in a rail car repair yard. Mm, see? Every job comes with a few perks. <laughs> Let me know when we have any. Rude. So, Blue Blood. So what's your loadout? You do just have a pistol. Okay. Mastercrafted armor. <clears throat> so his current ability is... What? He has Deadeye, so less aim but more damage. It doesn't end the turn if it's used as first action. It's pretty good. You can just take the shot. Kind of regardless. Uh, Desperado. Stand a pistol fire and dead eye cost an action. Stand a pistol fire and dead eye cost an action and do not automatically end the turn if Blue Blood has actions remaining. Okay, so if he has like three actions, it doesn't end the turn. Good to know. I like that he has two pistols, but I'll be interested to see how that works. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, we have some idle agents. So Zephyr's off training, which is good. We should put Blue Blood into training for basic conditioning. Uh, right. Enhanced SMG is done. Do we want to do improved Spec Ops now? Which allows two agents to be assigned. I think we do. I think we very much do want to do that. Okay. Sure. Uh, I do want to change my thing. My my team, I think. I think we dump... I'm going to tentatively dump Godmother and put Zephyr in and just see what happens. Um, 
Right, hang on, we can just do this, right? So we go, boom, and then we do this one. Ha ha ha. Very good. The you've encountered are from the old Shrike network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after the war. I hate how random these after are. After the formation of 3-1-PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Okay. Who's in charge? All right, it's a bit random. Shrike operates in a loose cell structure. Each cell determines which jobs they're willing to take. Some help guard the city's food supply. And others are muscle for seriously shady people. So what if we run into more in the field? They should have the sense to avoid a fight with reclamation. And if they don't, standard rules of engagement. Yeah, bring them in. Yeah, because, right, we have, like, the overall thing. Right? We have, like, the overall thing, which is Shrike. Uh, new supply items. The enhanced SMG. I think we're gonna do it. Although... Eh, I mean, we'll take it. Probably worth it. Scavenger market, what do we got? Plate of vest, advanced autoloader, superior autoloader. Although, we often don't have to reload that much. I think if you didn't automatically reload between encounters, that would actually be useful. But as it stands, like, you just reload. We don't often have to shoot that often. We don't often have to shoot that often. Good good sentence there. Uh, right, what do we got? An epic assault rifle. Very good. Or an epic submachine gun. We don't actually have that many assault rifle people, do we? So maybe we take the machine gun. Also means we don't have to deal with neonate chrysalids. So... Yes? I think the answer is yes. Um, oh my godmother has that. Mm. Okay, maybe we take Cherub off the mission. We put Zephyr on. We'll, you know, do all the standard stuff. We'll make stuff available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a stock on it. C5 on medkit, frag grenade. Uh, instead of a frag, maybe we make a shock. Oh, wait, that was... God, that was him, sorry. Uh, shock and a medkit, obviously. Breaching charge. Ack weave. All easy picks. I'm relatively happy with this team. I don't know if we need Cherub that much. I mean, we'll see. He is very good for, like, protecting you from, from fucking up, basically. So you can... Or if you get... Like, when you melee people out in the open, you can just slap a shield on them and you protect them from at least one hit. Um, but I'm wondering if we just have all the all the punchy boys... Looks like the hostiles have a weapon on our list. If we just have all the punchy boys, like, we just have full aggro and we just wipe them out before they actually come in. Uh, enemies are harder to hit. We'll send Zephyr in there and we'll send her in first. Uh... So he's doing breach stun... That might be a terminal thing. 25 aims, probably a godmother thing. And plus 3 mobility is definitely an axiom thing. So I think we want 1, 2, 3, 4 in that order. Time to move. This, this oh, feels strong. Me. Knock, knock. I like there's a door there, but we just jumped in the windows because... Because we can, I guess? Don't don't see why. Okay, just blast him. This guy's gonna get real shot up. I will kill that one. Boom. See him out of commission. And then we can take out the guardian, maybe. Nice. So no shields. This guy's gonna get a smack. Boom. Tougher than I expected. You wanna aim for the fleshy bits. There are two encounters here, but this should be over pretty quickly. So we can smack you around. Bonk. Nighty night. Uh, I'm gonna just... Oh yeah, there's a purifier over there. Oops. We'll just get you to parry. Wait, is that another guardian? No. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, you knew that couldn't possibly hit. So I don't know why you went for it. I think we just frag right there. Here you go. Enjoy. And then who's next? The trooper. Wait, where's that? Oh, it's that one. Okay. It's trooper, then him, then the turret. Yeah, I mean, we just go... We probably go bonk this trooper, I think. Yeah, does two to three. Give him the bonk. Get some free intel. Bonk. Now, you, however, have a bit of a trickier proposition here. Or do you? No, actually, you're, you're probably fine. Like, you just go over here. Probably ventilate this guy, although he's got four health. Which is what this can do, so you just kill him. Paste him against the wall. Turret probably doesn't do anything. And radial overwatch, same diff. Uh, we will put cooperation on, I guess, Axiom. Who will get one action to psych up, first of all. And subdue. Actually, that was probably pointless. Yeah, because I'm realizing that I'm probably just going to shoot with you. But then maybe I can just pin you down. Might be a better choice. Push him down the order for the guaranteed... Uh, for the guaranteed knockout. I'll just take this. Thank you. And you can just prep, I think. Probably fine. Uh, well, you know what to do. More rage axiom, and then give him the box. Oh, whoops. <laughs> just had to run around him. Sure. Shifting. And then we should easily be able to deal with this turret, so... Nighty night turret. No, oh, didn't kill him. Shit. Ooh. Oh my god, he actually did something. Oh my god, he actually hit me. It's kind of annoying, but... You know what? Fixed. Okay, we are sort of on time, but the next encounter should not take too long. Uh, explosive entrance. Scanners, helping hand. Okay, so we're going to breach with, I guess, Zephyr. Uh, follow him up with, boom, then we go to terminal. And actually, you can use ceasefire bomb, you can use refresh, you can use uh, nothing because you're just a badass. Boom! Blast it. So, basically just a heal for Zephyr. Ooh, immune. Someone's immune to weapon disables? I'm guessing it's you. Okay. Let's go say hello. Uh, yeah. Everyone else just start blasting. Oh, it was the chrysalid. That's who, uh... That's who was immune. Oh, hello. There's a lot of chrysalids here. Oh, I take it back. This may not... This may not be over quickly. Uh, we might want to bring up some friends. Let's bring up... You. We have Neonate and we have actual... An actual chrysalid. Excellent. That's, that's what you want to see. Thanks, I hate it. Can I get him too? Wow, I can get all three there. Uh, done. Nice. Wait, did I just... Okay, so that one's dead, the other one's rooted, and that guy is confused. Wow, that worked pretty damn well. All things considered. Um... Right, I reckon... Ugh, do I want to run and gun? Maybe... Could I get somewhere good? Possibly. What is that? I mean, it's clearly some sort of viper, but like... What, though? You know what, I'm just going to go here, toss a flashbang, and we'll see what happens. I know it probably won't affect the android. 
Yeah, go figure. But that's okay, because we're going to kill the android. Hostile dog. And then we'll just see what happens here. So it's the neonate chrysalid, which I'm guessing is the other one, so he couldn't move. Oh, That makes me feel bad. I don't actually know what rage really does. Definitely does something. Okay, so they're a cobra. It's fun. Uh, do we smash this guy? Yeah, we'll smash him. Hello. How you doing? Bonk. Wow, I actually missed. Now oh, she's untouchable because she killed someone. Nice. Uh, yeah, we are super crushing this, actually. Just shoot that chrysalid. Chrysalids are evil. We don't want them. We don't need them. Get the hell out. I'm not into the elite rifle, though. Ah, you bitch. Who does that? Who does that? Ah, nice try. Uh, what do we do here? I guess we just smack up. Smack up big, dumb, and ugly here. Works pretty well. Uh, and then you can parry. You are immune to poison, so nighty night. That makes you immune to the next hit. Yep, good try. Hey, wait a minute, you're standing on nothing there. Seems a bit rubbish. S me, me thinks tis rubbish. Okay, Axiom, don't miss this time. There we go. Oh, wow, random unconscious. Oh, that's got to suck. Uh, you know what? We're just going to cooperate with Godmother. And you can just blast the Cobra. It's a good start. And then Terminal can also do that thing that I just said. Better you than me. And then... Yeah, I mean, okay. Done. Easy. Alright guys, well we are gonna... Actually, sorry, no. We're not gonna leave this episode here. Not just yet, because I'm gonna go in here and they're gonna say something. Right? No? Okay, guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.